I already really, really hate FNAF, so imagine how I felt watching the rip-off. I'm not gonna let Freddy kill anybody else ever again. So there's this guy who goes around to clubs, picks up prostitutes, brings them back to his place, and then convinces them to read Latin from his magic book, which ends up summoning puppet demon things to uh, kill them. And he's done this successfully to like six women, no seven, um, and not one of them. I know prostitutes have to earn a living, but not one of them has said, no, you freakazoid, I'm not reading to you in Latin from the book made of skin. Ugh. Um, anyway. He only performs these murders on Fridays. The word Friday is said, like, every three minutes. They just keep saying Friday. Even when it's not real, it's so... They'll just be like, oh, time for Friday. Oh, here comes Friday. And I, I'm sad. It's, it's really annoying. Um, but you're not here for that. You're here for the crazy, gory kills, which also aren't good, no. As is traditional with a movie ripping another one off, everything about the plot has to be changed, yeah, yeah. To try and hide the fact that they are so violently clapping every aspect that has to do with marketing at all from FNAF. Um, so it is basically just about a policewoman investigating this guy and trying to pin him down to the murder. He's not good at it. Like, he's, he's really not good at it. This is not his speciality. He is doing this because... The demon Fred word, Freddy Frederick, um, has promised someone or something that that they will give you great riches, a hefty blowjob, I don't know, um, if you get eight sacrifices to give themselves to him willingly. Um, and he's a demon. He can really just kill people really easily whenever he fancies he's not contained to a location or anything goes wherever so it's it's very unclear why he chooses to only kill people once they've read the latin thing so there are a number of things that are unclear about this for instance if you wanted a strong female lead that constantly calls out sexism all film long that's fine why did you have her be so stupid as to never call back up like like, her friend, and then her boyfriend, and then her boss all tell her you should call backup. And the last time someone tells her, she goes, My boss won't understand if I call for backup. Your boss told you to call for backup next time in the last scene! It's, you know, it is especially aimless and directionless. Um, the worst part of this is if they had just avoided CGI, because for some reason the puppet, the Freddy puppet, has like this CGI face thing going on, all the other puppets are just like costumes. And honestly, they look fine, like, but but he isn't. Um, and then they start introducing like CGI blood spatters a bit later and stuff. Have you taken no notes from the Terrifier franchise? It's number one in the box office in America right now because they are smart enough to use practical effects to get away with the stuff that their budget can't cover in CGI. I don't understand why you wouldn't just do that, especially for something as simple as a blood spatter. It's so unnecessary to add that in CGI, and your CGI is terrible! <laughs> the worst thing is, I feel like if they just avoided CGI, just full stop, which could have been done easily, it doesn't need it at any point, they just shove it in. And if they'd taken out the Five Nights at Freddy's adjacent Timu characters, um, they, they, like, there's nothing here that would have been egregiously bad then, you know? Like, the storyline is not good, the acting is not good. But most of these elements, you know, the sound quality, well, the sound quality in, like, the first scene was atrocious, but then after that it was fine. I thought it was going to be unwatchable, judging from that first scene. Um, and, like, the video quality, and like, all these things, you know. It's simply made, and in a lot of respects, it could have just been this bad, cheap movie. But it, it enters that, like, next layer of hell by trying to shoehorn in all these FNAF elements, CGI, all this extra crap. And it made me really confused, mostly, at why someone would bother. Anyway, it is the upper class of abominations, the ninth layer of hell for movies. Um, it's not interesting, even a little bit. It's not funny at all, even how bad it is, honestly. It just passed that funny, bad layer and went straight to the next one. Shockingly boring, despite being about puppet demons killing people. Which is really grim. <laughs> I'm giving Timu FNAF is a brutal term to throw out. Half a star. See, my thing is, 
um, if you took away like the the Freddy and the Friday and the all that and the puppets and just made it a regular demon thing, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even notice 